Hey Mustangs, I'm Ty Wilkinson. And I'm Jesse Lepsis. And, and this, this is your Mustang, Mustang News, News Network. Network. Jesse, did you know that 20% of Americans speak languages other than English at home? At least 15% of Americans are bilingual. In fact, a lot of Staley students are bilingual. Actually, Ty, I did know that because I got to interview one of our ESL teachers here at Staley, Mrs. Sunday. Um, this is Jesse Lepsis here with Miss Sunday, our ESL teacher at Staley, and I've decided to ask her a few questions about our ESL program. What languages are spoken at Staley? Um, a few languages, for example, are Spanish, Romanian, Farsi, Mandarin Chinese, Japanese, and Arabic, just to name a few. How do these languages affect Staley's culture? Um, technology makes the world smaller and helps change the way we learn languages and do business. It's important um, to be successful to know more than one language, regardless of what your job is, and it helps you actually learn. What is a normal day in an ESL classroom like? Um, in our ESL reading lab class, we have different stations. You're focused on reading books. You're also focused discussions with other peers. Um, we also watch video clips with the subtitles on at the bottom to help language acquisition as well. Why did you choose to teach ESL at Staley? Um, Staley is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a middle school that's very similar to my other home campus and with such a large diverse population it really helps showcase our international population similar to in the DFW and Frisco Metroplex where business is really strong and there are many jobs available. That we're gonna review or Why is it important to be aware of these different languages? It gives you a chance to interact with other families, other people, other students, and you may even end up learning another language which will take you to another country to learn and study. Or even Thank you. This was Miss Sunday, our ESL teacher here at Staley, and that is all. Wow, I did not know that. Something you might know, Ty, is that we just entered soccer season. Of course. Here's Kennedy McDowell and Lily Conway with sports. Hey, Mustangs. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Lily. And, and this, this is Saddle Up for sports. sports. This year, our boys and girls track team did great during the past track season. Our boys even took home the district title. Let's, Let's roll, roll the clips. First off with your H eighth grade girls four by one team of Summer Lawler, Paula, Paige, and Emmy. Next, you have your 7th grade boys 4x1 team of Emmanuel, Brandon, Gino, and Spencer. Then we have our 8th grade boys 4x1 team of Jaleric Richardson, Kennedy McDowell, Jeremiah Gilkey, and Elijah Burton. Then you have 8th grade girl shot with Natalie Geyser. Then you have your 7th grade boys long jump with Spencer Cox and your 8th grade boys long jump with Kennedy McDowell. And then you got your girls 2400 with Georgia. And then you got your boys 2400 with Braden Kennedy and Luis Hernandez. 
in boys 110 hurdles with Kennedy McDowell. Then you have your 8th grade girls 400 with, with Milo. And then your boys 8th grade 300 hurdles with Kennedy McDowell and Jeremiah Gilkey. Now back to Kennedy and Lily. Good job, Mustangs! Soccer has started and our teams are struggling, but we expect to bring our record up in the following games. That's all for us, Mustangs. Now back to Ty and Jesse. Good, Good job, job Mustangs. Mustangs. We have a new GT teacher who joined our faculty on February 25th. That's pretty cool, Jesse. Let's meet her. Alrighty, Mustangs, so today I'm joined here by Miss Mulroney. Say hi. Hi, Mustangs. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm originally from Plano, Texas, um, but I've been in Colorado for the past eight years. Uh, I have a 10-year-old son who's in fifth grade, and I cannot believe how old he is when I teach the sixth graders here. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys have so much in common, so I can't believe I almost have a middle schooler at home myself. Um, my husband and my son and I have three horses that we're hoping to keep with us on our property here in Texas, and we're just really excited to spend more time with them. What are some of your fondest experiences as a teacher? Oh, I have so many, but all of my fond experiences come from GT classes um, in ILA. One of my favorite things about being a teacher is getting to know my students and keep in touch with them throughout the years, and it's really fun to see what students have done after leaving my classroom and even graduating from high school. So it's, it's really neat to see people out there in the world. What is it like to see Frisco now compared to when you last saw it? Frisco's really different. Everyone keeps telling me I was in Frisco ISD so long ago, and I feel like, oh, I was just here. But a lot has changed. Um, it's been really positive change. And one thing I love about Frisco ISD is they'll get behind an idea and really stick with it. So it's really been interesting to see how a lot of the initiatives that were just ideas when I left have really been um, embraced and have played out for kids. What was it like in Colorado? <laughs> Colorado's beautiful. Um, it's a lot drier, so my hair has been adjusting as we've been here. Um, and it's a lot of fun, but I'm excited to be near my family and be with you guys. What are your hopes for the rest of this year? I'm really excited to get to know you guys and to teach the ILA curriculum and see what you can do. Alrighty, thank you, Miss Mulroney. Here's the number one PSA created in video production classes this year by one of our Staley students. Great job. I've been waiting so long for warm weather. Me too, Ty. How about telling us about the weather? Okay. Can 2019 be the hottest year yet? Has the hail come to a screaming halt? And will allergy stop anytime soon? We'll start off with the hail portion of the segment where we had both hail and tornado warnings on March 24th at approximately 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Let's take a look at the DFW map area. We see that the storm retreated southeast, plummeting through the cities of Denton, Aubrey, Pilot Point, Prosper, Frisco, Plano, McKinney, Allen, and Wiley. We have a couple of photos of hail courtesy of our 8th grade science teacher, Miss Ryan. As you can see, they got about ping pong to maybe golf ball sized hail in Aubrey, Texas, which is northwest of us, but nothing too major. 
And meanwhile in Frisco, let's just roll that clip. This video is taken toward the Heritage High School neighborhood area. We see a couple of hailstones falling into the pool, and now let's skip exactly one minute. Uh, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> we'll move on to the tree pollen alert for Frisco, which has still been in effect since the last broadcast. As we see on the map, the pollen alert has retreated out of Florida, but is still in the Gulf Coast and Atlantic states, down to Mexico, across the western United States, and all the way up to Vancouver, British Columbia, in Canada. The pollen alert has, will move up a little bit north in the United States, into Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and West Virginia. Allergies will retreat more north of Texas toward the middle of April, and then the heat comes. Which leads me to my last segment. Scientists are predicting this year's summer being one of the hottest years we might ever have, but it all comes down to an unusual phenomenon in the ocean and atmosphere in the Pacific Ocean. Scientists predict that the heat may rise up to the triple digits for most of our summer, but in reality, it's too early to tell. That's all for me. Back to Jesse. Do you know what starts tomorrow? Yes, the star test. Here's a little short infomercial for the star. Star is coming tomorrow. Sixth graders, your teachers will explain what your schedule will look like for Tuesday. On Tuesday, the seventh graders will be taking the writing test. Eighth graders will be taking the math test. And on Wednesday, the eighth graders will be taking the reading test. Non-testers on those days, please be as quiet as possible in the hallways and in classrooms on those testing days. Don't forget to get a good night's sleep before testing. Eat a well-balanced breakfast, eggs, fruit, peanut butter, milk, juice, and toast. Dress in layers. Your room could be hot or cold or just right. What to bring? Your favorite books to read. The only thing to do after testing is read or sleep. Please no snoring. Do not disrupt testers, not only in your room, but the rooms around you. You can bring a snack. Snacks should be non-messy and unwrapped in a Ziploc bag. Types of snacks, goldfish, peppermints, pretzels, dried fruit. Bring a water bottle, only with water. Bring a different color highlighter. We will supply yellow if it's one of your strategies that was taught by your teachers. If you have a favorite wooden pencil, no mechanical, but we will have some for you to use. No worries. Things you shouldn't do on the day of testing. Like, don't pet the cat. Don't bring cell phones into a testing room. Cell phones, unless for medical reasons, smart watches, or earbuds. Earphones should be turned off and placed in your locker for safekeeping. Don't write on Scantron unless directed to do so. Don't get highlighter marks on Scantron. Just be careful with answered documents. Watch for stray marks. Also, it's very important. Please read the instructions carefully and listen to your teachers. They're required to read everything, word for word, from their manuals to you. And we want you to know how to ask for something. Kleenexes, dictionaries, thesauri, highlighters, erasers, and scrap paper. How to go to restrooms, water break, and which restrooms to go as you may be in a different location. Don't forget to sign out. How to throw away trash. Teacher can bring your a trash can. You may not get out of your seat unless you have permission to go to restrooms, water break, or the nurse. If you have to visit the nurse, you will be escorted. Anybody has any questions, please direct them to your teacher. Good luck. Have a great day. Well, that's all we have today. This, this is, is your Mustang, Mustang News Network, Network signing off. I'm not